Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an ice cream, a really tasty banana and chocolate ice cream. So easy to make and you'll love the flavour, I certainly do. And if you do like it, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. Let people know about the videos to help the channel grow and let other people see it. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge. And if you hit that notification bell, it just gives you a gentle reminder of when the videos come out so you don't miss any. So enjoy. So this is the most easiest ice cream ever to make. First of all, we need either two small bananas or one large banana, some chocolate chips, you can use dark chocolate or milk chocolate or a mix of them. A 100 gram bar of plain chocolate. Again, you can mix milk and dark chocolate if you wanted to. Some vanilla essence. 250 ml of fresh cream and one tin of condensed milk. Right, so with your bananas, just chop them into little pieces. Right, so what we're going to do after we cut up a banana is we're just going to add the banana to the food processor. We're going to add a 250 ml of cream and then we're going to add a small tin of condensed milk. So we want half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. If you haven't got any you can miss it out, it doesn't really matter too much. So you just put the lid on and we'll just give this a quick whiz. And then you just add your chocolate pieces, this chocolate adds to the texture and the flavour. Now if you're doing this by hand, you can just chop your chocolate up into little bits. Right now we're going to give this another quick whiz. We'll take our blade out. Now, some bits of chocolate won't be um, chopped up really small, it doesn't matter. Keep some big bits in it and some smaller bits. So we'll take this off the food processor. So now we just pour some into a tub. And I says it's good to have some bits of chocolate in it. You don't even mix it up into two tiny bits, you want some nice chunks. And then you just get your chocolate chips and put them into your ice cream mixture and just mix them around with a spoon. So you'll have the chocolate chip in there as well as the big chunks of chocolate and then you've got lots of little tiny bits of chocolate as well. And it just makes it so nice with that banana flavour ice cream. Now we put a lid on and we put this in the freezer. So with this ice cream, I've shown you how easy it is to make without an ice cream maker. Of course, ice cream makers are great and they do make delicious ice cream, but there's nothing stopping you from making ice cream without one. And this is one recipe that you can do that. So I hope you give this a try and it really does taste nice. So now we've put it in the freezer, you just need to leave it for an hour and then we'll give it a mix around. And you just do that every hour and it should take about five or six hours in total to freeze properly. Right, so we'll just take the lids off of these tubs that we put in the freezer about an hour ago. And as you can see, it kind of starts to freeze at the sides. And what we want to do is just give it a good mix around. Because if you don't, then it just ices up in certain areas and it, it just doesn't go as good. But if you just give it a stir every hour, and you'll see it will feel like some bits are starting to freeze. So just keep mixing. And then put the lids back on and put in the freezer. Right, so we're just going to take these lids off now. And as you can see, look, it's starting, especially at the sides, it's starting to get that little bit harder. It's still quite soft in the middle. So it's very important that you do give it that mix around. Gather up all the bits from the edge and put them into the middle. But it's starting to come together. So, and then just spread it around again. 
you can see the difference between me stirring this one and just leaving that one. It really is important to stir it. So I'll just do the same with this one. And it gives the chance for the chocolate to be um, frozen in amongst all, not just to settle at the bottom. So we just put the lids on and put them back in the freezer again. And we'll do the same again in another hour. See how nice they're looking? And they're getting quite solid now. But again, we'll just still give them a mix. So you probably need to do this three or four times, I'd say. See how easy that was to mix. It's getting quite solid now. And our next time I'll show you is when it's ready. Right, so now we're just about to dish our ice cream. So I'm just going to cut the flake in half. I've got some hot water from the kettle that I put in a cup and I put this ice cream scoop into it and that makes it easier for when you scoop the ice cream up. So I'm just going to scoop this up now and you can see what this looks like. It is quite hard, but that's okay. The homemade ice cream sometimes are a little bit harder and sometimes they're a little bit softer. This particular recipe is quite hard because of all the chocolate in it. If I had a bit more patience, I could have just let this defrost for a few minutes. <laughs> but I'm impatient because this ice cream is just so nice and tasty. Look how lovely it is and look at all the chocolate bits in it. Oh, it really is gorgeous. Right, so what I'm going to do now is with half the flake, I'm just going to crumble it. Actually, I won't do the whole half, I'll just do some of it. So with the half of the half, I've just crumbled it on the top and then the other half of that half, I'm just going to stick inside like that. I might this eat this bit on its own later. So look at this delicious ice cream that I'm going to have now. I'm so lucky to be trying this. So I'm getting lots of lovely chocolate bits and the ice cream bits and it's so nice and tasty. Mmm. The carpet of chocolate. <laughs> nice. It's got the perfect amount of banana in and love lots of bits of chocolate. Sometimes you get small bits, sometimes you get a nice big chunky bit. And the texture is gorgeous and the flavour is beautiful. Loads of flavour. And really nice. So enjoy making yours.